Hi, welcome to a devlog about uh, the game I'm making for the gothic novel Game Jam. Um, this is going to maybe be a bit more rambling than normal because I'm not going to edit it or anything, so bear with me. Um, so I want to take a look at uh, the game that I'm making. I've been doing it for a couple of days. Um, this is very unfinished, obviously. Uh, my intention is to do a series of these over the course of the jam um, as a record of, of how it's going, really. I've had a few problems so far, but um, things are more or less going as they as I hope they would. Um, my game is, um, I guess, a kind of a visual novel, interactive story type thing. Uh, let me show you what uh, what I've got so far. Okay, so um, yeah, this is the interface. Uh, the ooh, okay, here we go. Let's turn that music down. So, everything temporary, right? The the music is like. Um, oh, no, maybe we should turn down this. The music is just, you know, um, placeholder. Um, the images are art that I'm going to use. They're all taken from the British Library's online collection of public domain uh, scans. Um, and but I haven't like synced stuff up yet. So the um, uh, the image here is gonna show the the story. The, the location of the story and at the moment that isn't synced up um, also at the moment uh, only the left hand option works on anything because uh, I haven't written the other half of the story um, and the story is just like the beginning the uh, something I wrote in the first night of the jam uh, to use to base the the interface around, not the interface, but the, the connection between the, uh, the story, which is written in ink, and, and Unity, which is uh, what you see here. Essentially, I want a system where, from ink, I can control the, the timings of things. From ink, I control the, um, the characters that come in and go out. I can choose images for the backgrounds can transition from one location to another and that's all done with a system of tags inside ink that uh, unity recognizes the tags and does all the stuff so I'm in the middle of um, two-thirds of the way through writing that system but it's not all, all done yet um, but this is the, the story and you can choose options um, I'm not sure about this whole like dialogue off in separate boxes because I think that at least when you first see this you read the story and you press the button and you continue to read the story and it's really easy to miss that over here the character is speaking to you um, but I think I'm kind of locked into this now I don't think that uh, I'll have time to think up another system what I will hopefully try and do is find some way of drawing your attention more to this box when when the characters are speaking. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. That's something to add further down the line, I think. Um, this box can be scrolled back. Um, but, yeah, let's see if we can get a, a scene transition. I think that happens soon. Um, Me. Okay, so th there you go. That's a scene transition, um, and this is the more developed scene. This is, in fact, the 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 library scene that is being talked about in the story. So I'm going for this like 
uh, multiplane camera kind of thing, parallax effect sort of thing that's all based on the on the movement of the mouse. And I hope it feels good and it doesn't sort of make you feel queasy, which might be a possibility. Uh, at the moment, I like it. I like the fact that when you when you move to make a choice, the whole image shifts in um, in response to your movement. And if you go the other way for the other choice, the similar kind of thing. And it's uh, I don't know if it's too subtle or not subtle enough or whatever. But you know, the I like the fact that the the landscape outside the windows moves differently to the building and. But um, it's kind of a lot of work to cut out all of these windows and all of these images. I will find the images for all of the locations, cut out all the transparent bits, layer them up and all that kind of thing. So um, I think we'll get another transition back to the uh, previous scene in a minute. But uh, maybe I haven't formatted all of this, as you can tell. Um, maybe everything will be kind of uh, much simpler. Maybe I'll stick with really one layer because it's okay, the, the interface moves anyway. We'll see kind of what I have time for and um, mostly what I have time for. That's, that's what we'll see. Um, so from here, I have to Write the system for kind of properly swapping in the assets for each scene. There, they are set on a on a series of layers, and every time that the story wants to transition to a new location, the um, the game has to load in a correct set of assets into the correct layers before it makes that faded transition um, between scenes. I've got to write that that hasn't been written, and then. I've got to work a little bit more on the formatting because I want to know what and I want to know how I'm doing formatting before I start to write properly. And once those two things are done, the kind of the basis of the game is there, of the 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 systems of the game are there. And then I will have to write a whole bunch of stories and create a whole lot of images for every location in those in those stories. And I have ideas uh, about the stories and uh, where the story's going, um, you know, how things work. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping that I'll get the systems finished fairly soon and I can, I can start on that and have plenty of time to, to develop the story and the images. Um, uh, just a few things I guess to point out that the images of the people that we saw earlier those are um, selected from a bunch of options if I start again hopefully it will pick different options um, yeah so there are a set of young women, young men, old women, old men etc and it'll pick a sort of a randomish one, no, a random one, each time. A randomish because um, I've tried to write all of my random code such that it doesn't generate, or it, it will generate very few repetitions. It's all sort of fudged so that. Um, it remembers what it's picked before and it discards those from from future picks for a while before it forgets them again. So it'll pick images for different characters, but it won't repeat the image for new characters who appear is kind of the idea. Also, all of the names uh, are generated in the same way. Uh, I've written a person name generator and also a place name generator for generating the names of villages. And uh, I'll be using that a bunch in the in the story. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I've got to talk about. I'm sorry that uh, this is a little incoherent and uh, maybe more so than normal, a little rambling. Uh, I hope to do more of these and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching and toodaloo.